What's going on my friends, Pegyard Studios here, and as you can see, I have a box in front of me. What's in it, you might ask? Well, we're here to find out, which if you already read the title of this video, you probably know what it's from. Um, but anyway, I got another order from Boeing. This is actually the third order, third or fourth order that I've done from Boeing, but this is the second video that I've done, just because the other ones weren't really that significant. But, um, so basically, um, they had a huge clearance sale recently, and everything inside this box that I got, I actually got this a few days ago, I've only just now had the time to make a video, um, which is why it's already open and stuff, but, um, so basically, everything in this box is a clearance item, um, so, let's just get right to it. Let's get rid of the bubble wrap, more bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. That's, that has something in it, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, they got rid of the Boeing logo on their wrapping paper. That's sad. Um, here. Because I don't want to spoil it by, like... Okay. So basically, first thing, got a tumbler cup thing. It says Boeing on the side. And on this side, it says 777X. For those of you that don't know that much about aviation, the 777X is is the newest version of the 777 and is powered by the largest jet engine in the world. Um, I forget what the engine itself is called. I should know this for how much I love planes, but yeah. Um, it's not missing the straw. It just came like separate, which is why it's not in there. It's in the box somewhere. I'll look for it. I hope it's in here. Yeah, here it is. Just a basic gray straw. Nothing special. Put that off to the side. Um, next up, got a couple of stickers. The uh, Boeing P-8 Poseidon, which is, um, as you can see by the missiles on the wings, it is a military aircraft. It's actually U.S. Navy. Well, I believe other navies use it, but it's uh, predominantly known to be serviced by the United States Navy. I actually got two of these stickers. Um, so yeah. Wait, what's it say on the back? KC-46. Well, I know that's not right. It clearly says P-8. But anyway. Yeah, I got two of those just because they were on clearance. I thought they were cool. Um, next up, uh, P-8A Poseidon, um, keychain. I actually have one of, one just like this, but with the 777 which I actually unboxed in the last video. On the back, it just says Boeing, and, and it shows the other side of the plane, but you can't really see it because of the damn barcode. I can tell you for a fact it also is not $6. I believe it was like... Actually, it should have the receipt. Yeah, the receipt's somewhere in there. I'll look at it. It is taped, so... Wait, there we go. Um, okay, it doesn't give a price, like how much it costs, so... Actually, does it? No, that's just a return form. Anyway. Um, next up, I'm gonna look for it. Boeing 747-8 magnet. So yeah, it's in the same style as that um, mug and t-shirt that I got in the last video. I believe it was the last video. I can't remember if I got those separately. But yeah, just a magnet. Um, next up, KC-46 magnet. This is a refueling plane. The variant of the Boeing 767. So yeah, just that. And it just says Boeing on the back. This is a magnet, right? Yeah. Want to make sure. Um, oh, it's, it's snowing like hell outside, so I have the news on. Um, PAA... Magnet, same style as the KC-46. Also says Boeing on the back, as you can see there. Um, let's see. Next up. Uh, I never actually have a use for... Whoops. I never have a use for these, but I thought it'd be cool anyway just to have. I got a 777X lanyard. And then 
there's the string on the inside it says Boeing on the outside it says 777X and I think that's a really cool like design so yeah and it's also like kind of like the blueprint design as you can see by like it kind of looks transparent on that side another fun fact about the 777X is that the wings are so long the wingtips actually fold up like um, a military aircraft which, as far as I know, the 777X is not going to be used for military. It's just a really big passenger plane. Next up, this is actually wrapped up, so i got to figure out how to get it out. I'm sorry if that's an unpleasant sound. I'm going to get it out without having to set my phone down. Come on. Okay, i got to set my phone down. I'm sorry. So, got a coffee mug. Yeah, I know. You don't really need more coffee mugs, John. Yeah, I know. I've heard it a million times. We have so many coffee cups in our house. Although, I'm not sure if I want to use this one. I kind of want to keep it, like, as a collectible. Just because, you know, I don't really want to ruin it. Although, it's ceramic. And I have a ceramic mug, which I actually have right here with me. I have coffee in. It's the United States Navy. I've actually had this since um, 2017. And it's been in the dishwasher so many times um, that it has not gotten scratched up, at least yet. Although I don't really want to risk it with this, even though it might be the exact same. But anyway, PA Poseidon. And then there's the plane. I just think that, I just think that's a really cool shot, like flying kind of like flying into the sunset. yeah uh, and then it says Boeing up there and it's the same it's the exact same picture as the magnet actually as you can see there just kind of a different design because of the numbers and lettering so yeah um, and then is there something else in here yeah I want to make sure that wasn't like something else else but anyway last but not least I'm actually gonna have to set my phone down again to be able to show it, and I gotta move the box, this stuff off to the side. Now, Boeing's um, apparel, their sizing is really whack, cause, okay, so I, in any other clothing, I typically wear a an extra large, which, with all the weight I've been losing lately, I might eventually hopefully get down to just wearing a large but I don't know if that'll be the case so but I'm, I've noticed Boeing's t-shirts run small and um so like when I made my first Boeing order I got a 787 t-shirt extra large but it fits like a large and I mean as I've worn it a few times it's kind of like stretched out and whatnot to be more comfortable and then I decided to get a different t-shirt, um, a Boeing 777 t-shirt that was uh, a 2X to see if that would fit better. And it was, and it was, it, it did fit like an extra large. Well, I got another 2X of this t-shirt of, um, I'm actually just going to show it, the PAA Poseidon. It's actually the same style as the 777 t-shirt that I have, like black with the gray outline. I kind of wish it wrapped around, but that's whatever. Um, so yeah, this is a 2X, and just look at that. It, like, if I could wear it right now, which I'm, I'm not going to put it on for demonstration, but I've, like, held it up to myself, it looks like it's a, it could match up to a 3X. Which, I mean, when I wash it, which it desperately needs washed, as you can tell, um, it might shrink, which I'm hoping that it does just so it fits better. But I just want to know why two t-shirts two of the exact same size, like that are supposed to be the same size, are like two wildly different sizes. Like, come on, Boeing, you need to get your crap together. But... Other than that, um, that's all the stuff that I got from Boeing this order. Like I said, all clearance stuff. 
um, total ended up coming out to be $32, and it was free shipping, so that's even better. Um, not only that, but, like, with all this stuff, if it w if none of this stuff was on clearance, the total probably would have been maybe around, um, 60 or $70, which currently I don't have that kind of money to spend just because I'm about to go on a trip and, um, I don't know yet when, cause currently I'm between jobs cause my last job laid me off for the season and, um, I might be going back to working at the zoo because I've been working there since 2017 but they lay people off at the end of the season as well and the rehire event is until late next month so I probably won't be going back till April and currently it's the end of February so you can see kind of see why I'm a bit more strict about money especially when I'm about to go on a trip I'm actually leaving tomorrow to go on my trip but I'm only going to be gone for a couple of days so but anyway that's it for this haul video. I'm actually about to do another haul video that is a Lego haul. And I haven't done one of those in quite some time just because I haven't been getting as much Lego recently. Um, but yeah, so I am going to go ahead and do that. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peggy Art Studios out.